My name is uh, François Cazor. I'm the former, I'm the founder and CEO of uh, Eco2 Market, and I'm here to introduce you Eco2 Data, our uh, analytics suite for environmental finance. So I'm a former fixed income trader. I spent uh, six years at uh, HSBC, and uh, I met my co-founder during our engineering studies. So we both share quite quantitative backgrounds. Um, we uh, decided that we wanted to bring our skills to much, um, let's say, newer markets. So um, we were uh, looking at bonds, equities, and we decided we could bring our skills in uh, climate change. So we've, uh, we've looked at emissions trading, and um, emissions trading is basically about uh, fixing a price on a ton of CO2 that is emitted in the atmosphere, and then letting the people emitting it pay for it by giving money for uh, projects creating clean energies and so avoiding emissions. This market is very new, 2005. So it has been built with a bottom-up approach, and at the end, it has created a lot of problems like transparency, traceability, uh, risk, lots of frauds, and uh, at the end, it's a lot of time wasted for the uh, market operator. So we've built eco2data.com, which is um, a global uh, hub of information for a carbon market player, where you can find information on the overall market, a geolocalized database where you can find information on these projects, uh, who is emitting, who is paying for the emissions, who is investing in the projects, and so that's for the information uh, as a whole. Then we have as well a um, page dedicated for each asset, so it's more than 20,000 pages where you can find info on uh, what the project is about, uh, how much has been invested, who's involved, what are the metrics, and uh, even compare a project to uh, others. We have the same kind of feature for uh, market players, which is really key to the market, know your customer. So you have a page for all market players involved, where you can look at their historic, what they've been doing, uh, what their strengths and, and weaknesses, and uh, at the end, what uh, could it be a reliable partner, uh, customer, or uh, a counterparty in this market. So that's for the pure data. On the top of that, we built um, a pricing uh, model that works for both primary and secondary markets, and uh, a forecast supply model. At the end, uh, we've built around it um, uh, a search engine that is very close to the experience you can have with Google. So um, it lets you find directly the projects or the uh, participants of this market, saying, show me the buyer uh, in the UK, or show me uh, the same kind of people uh, in France. This market is a niche market. It's a $200 million market right now. Um, but we believe, given new sectors and countries that are joining, that in eight years from now, it could be a $1 billion market. But 2020 is quite far, especially for a startup. Eight years is a long time, and carbon markets suffered a lot from the uh, recent financial crisis. At the end, one on two visitors on our website is interesting not by the CO2 credits, but by the underlying projects. So we are expanding our service to cover not only carbon credits, but to uh, have the same kind of solutions for renewables and energy efficiency markets that are uh, much bigger and very close to carbon. We make money by selling yearly subscription. Uh, the beauty of it is that it's paid up front and it's recurrent, so you get the money before the people are using your service. And we also sell on-demand reports for people interested in only one organization, one project. Uh, at the end, we started to sell the, the product something like one year ago. Uh, we managed to, to attract significant names from the market, mostly uh, traders and uh, energy players. We do the painful job of um, extracting, sourcing, cleaning, and aggregating the information, relying on machines and our cloud-based servers. Uh, at the end, our competitors rely uh, still on manual entry, so that's our main innovation that allows us to build uh, the biggest database in the industry right now. The industry, so Bloomberg and Reuters both acquired companies in this field. Reuters is the only one with a real uh, trading analytics uh, offerings, and uh, we are differentiated from them, firstly, because the product is much more technical and much more quantitative. You, for example, on Reuters, uh, you cannot see uh, the organization pages, so KYC issues, you cannot do it with Reuters. We do that. But we innovate as well the way we sell it. We, of course, have a boiler room sell strategy. It is quite classic for financial data provider, but we have a freemium model. So basically, people f search for information directly in Google. They find our pages, then are encouraged to sign up, and then upgrade to a premium account. So we go to customers, but they also go directly to us. Um, at the end, we've raised uh, very little capital and are making money for more than one year. 
And we are seeing right now a very, very strong involvement from our customers in the platform. They spend nearly two hours per day uh, on the system. It's getting really a must-have tool for them, and they, they are making more business with it. So it's really great. So thanks a lot for listening to me and inviting me. And uh, we are looking uh, also to meet customers, new customers, of course, but partners and advisors will be great also, so please get in touch. Thanks a lot.